Hello? This is Kitties, and today I'm going to be showing you what in the world this button does. First, you gotta know how the heck to get the button. So what you can do is go into your watch, make sure you're on your home menu, hit backpack, and make your pen. If you have it favorited, just grab it from your back. Next, what you want to do is open it, and either hit create or open palette. This will open up this menu. From there, hit dynamic, scroll all the way to the end, and here it is, the toggle button. Essentially, when you press it, it stays pressed. It also makes a very satisfying sound. You can also hit it with your pointer finger from a certain distance. Now, we need to figure out what in the world these outputs and input does. So what you can do is grab out your maker pen and use the wire tool and hover over each one. This essentially is showing when it's on. It only plays for a single tick. And then when it's off, it will also play a tick. This will show what toggle it's on. So if it's pressed, it will be a one. If it's off, it will be a zero. If you open your maker pen and hit configure and try and configure this, you have several options. First, it's toggled by default. Essentially, this will make it so it's always toggled when the room is booted up. Let's try that. As you can now tell, when the room is saved or stored, or when you first join the room, it is already toggled, and using wire, you can tell that it is currently toggled. You can always unclick it. Next is send player a signal output. This is actually the same on the standard button. Essentially what will happen is, if you press this, the player's ID will now be put out when you hit one of these. Next is enable projectile collision. Essentially, when this option is checked, you can get a weapon of some sort. I want to use a paint pistol. And if you shoot it, it will activate. This can be useful for activating faraway buttons. Simply, with the projectile option on or off, it would not matter. You can throw items at the button and it will activate. So currently, if it's zero, which is default to, I can press the button, and it works fine. But, if you use configure in this case, set the R to 1, because that's what we have connected from the variable to the button. Now it is locked, and we cannot press it. The animation might play, but the outputs do not. That's all for this quick little tutorial. Goodbye.